And back to the office. Some companies are practically begging workers, but it seems most employees really aren't buying it. So now some corporations are trying to sweeten the deal. They're adding new amenities to lure workers back to their desks. Think roof decks, espresso bars, even private scooters to get you to that, to that next meeting on time. Here's CNBC's Perry Russell. Welcome back. It's the first day back at the office for Bear Construction in downtown Chicago. We really need people to be physically here. It's mandatory for all 22 employees to be in the office. There are definitely a few people that uh, took that, you know, a little harder to come back than others. Scott Kerinsky says they've become more flexible with work hours. They're offering amenities and more things from home are starting to come to work. We're actually thinking about building a roof deck out here. He says they're also seeing changes in what's in the plans for others. They're building office buildings and offices that really rival, you know, the nicest hotels and the nicest restaurants and bars. We really wanted to make this a hotel-like atmosphere for our tenants. It's Ben Cleveland's job to fill empty office buildings downtown. We have every bell and whistle that you could possibly imagine. He showed us an office building with a 5,000 square foot gym, private scooters to get to meetings, and roof decks overlooking the city. This is our tenant lounge. Is it a tenant lounge or is it a tenant bar? Both. A restaurant and espresso bar are also being built. Do you think some of these new buildings will have to have similar traits as yours to want companies to come there? Absolutely. The allure of the office donut isn't as sweet as it used to be. 71% of workers between the ages of 18 and 24 say they'd think about looking for a new job if they had to go to the office full time, compared to 56% of workers between 45 and 54. Companies are responding, with 77% adopting some kind of hybrid work model. At Bear Construction, Kerinsky says office space is evolving to bring the workers back. You've got these world-class amenities coming to office space that, you know, 10 years ago we wouldn't have dreamt of. And Kerinsky says that companies have to work with employees to try and bring them back, especially those with child care concerns or health concerns. And he says he's seeing a change in the way that architects are drawing plans for offices where now it's much more private offices than it is that open space concept.